Hello, my name is Joshua Weddinger, and welcome to part 32 of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Let's Play series. Let's get straight into these solo mode duels. Today I'll just be doing a bunch of, um, Kuro Kuro Lona deck duels. So, that should hopefully be fun. Yeah, so I'll be doing, th I'll just finish off the Kuro Kuro and then I can go into pack opening for those of you who want to stay for that. Okay, so... Okay, it's... it's. Okay, so let's do Kuro Kuro Cash and set that. Uh, this isn't really a great opening hand, but okay. Hopefully I can finish off the Kuro Kuro. I'll just do three doors or finish off whichever I can do. Mm. I don't think my opponent ever breaks, but I can, so that doesn't seem very fair. Oh, come on, really? <sighs> okay, well... Hopefully, I, I just need a level 4 lower Kuro Kuro. Come on. Good. Come on. That is not what I need. Okay, I lost. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Because it counts for me or my opponent. Oh, thank goodness. Well, now what does the field spell do? When a face up Kuro Kuro monster you control selects an opponent's face up, you can change the target's battle position. When this face up con the field is destroyed, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and activate anatomy. Okay. Huh. Okay, so I think I'm gonna... Dang it. Okay. Oh, good. If this card is in your hand, you can target one Kuro Kuro monster, change its battle position, and if you need a special summon, summon this card as a tuner. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the next deck for the rest of the turn. Okay, that's very good. So now I can go ahead and do that. Target one Kuro Kuro monster you control and one effect monster your opponent controls. Change the power position of your um your monster and if you do negate the effects of that opponent's monster until the end of this turn. If you control a Kuro Kuro monster you can manage this card from your graveyard and target one face that monster on the field. Change that monster's battle position. Okay. And then I'll s special summon that and attack. It's that's max two. So now I'll go ahead and change the bow position of this guy. And what can I add? I guess I could add the Add this one. Okay, now I'll activate anatomy. Does this have an effect?
I guess I could. Negate that one. Oh. Oh, so you can just activate both in the same turn. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna battle. Attack that one. Yeah. I don't need... Yeah, I'm not gonna change the target's battle position. Yeah, but it's negated, so that's really good. Okay, and then I'll just end now. Oh boy. That's fine. Oh boy. Okay. What does that do? Oh, lets him reborn one of his monsters. Machines, but its effects are negated. Oh boy, he's setting up a lot. Okay, um... Wait, but what if I... I think... Th I guess I'll go ahead and... Mm. I'll probably change the bow position of... That's not good. Okay, well, I can do that. Oh, crap. Dang it. Well, no, I can't really do anything about that. <sighs> Dang it. Oh, man, seriously? That's way too high. Oh, man, that is way too much attack. <sighs> okay, so... During your main phase, you can summon one. Okay, so you, I should have a level seven in here. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Okay, so I can go into a synchro then. That's good. Now I'll go into Beret, I think it is. Okay, special summon Beret. Yep. And then I can special summon another Kuri Kuri from my graveyard. Let's see. Ooh, and then I... Okay, I think I'm going to do this. Ooh. Ooh, that's not bad. And then I'll go ahead and target this guy. 
Or I guess I didn't really need to. Whatever. And then I'll go into battle. Attack this one. What? No, seriously? Destroy all face up monsters your opponent controls? Are you kidding me? No! Oh, come on! Really? That's not fair. I can't. I, there's nothing I can do about that. Changes battle position. Screw you. Screw you. Man, I can't believe. I can't believe he just destroyed my monster. Oh, well. Well, I guess I lost. There's literally nothing I can do. Man, I was so close, too. Okay, good game. Man. Okay. I'll just try it again. Guess I'll have to finish up the Curry Curry um, story mode another time because I'm not going to be able to do it this time because I lost. I mean, I guess I could just finish it up, but I don't know. Maybe I will. It might it might go a little bit over today, but I, sh I should probably finish it up. Hopefully I don't lose it anymore, though. So I'm just going to go for set him and then set that one and then end. Yes, activate it. Okay, I'm definitely activating. Okay. So now I can no summon that. Add a something else to my hand. So I should go for probably quick. And then I'll go ahead and go into Yeah. Actually, I should go into this one first. Yeah, I'll do this. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, that's fine. And then I'll go ahead and add back my, this one. Okay, here we go. Battle. Oh, 
Are you serious right now? Whatever. I thought it would. I'm just gonna end. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, no one summon Shapachi. And then let's go ahead and change. I guess. This guy's battle position, I don't know. Okay. Okay, beret. Activate beret to special summon. It's only this to red bow. Hmm. I guess I might as well special summon out a quick. And then, I think if I do this, and like he can't activate. Ooh, I can just do it as many times as I want. That's pretty awesome. I'm probably shouldn't have special summoned out there, but whatever. It's fine. Okay. And then I'll special summon out. Probably. Um. This guy this time. Oh. I'm gonna survive activate him. Whatever. Good. Ah, so annoying. Just gonna activate that then. Now I'll end. Whatever. Okay, so I'll go ahead and activate Gamma Oil to special summon out my quick and I should be able to get gain I'll just change the battle position of quick to add um probably this one Oh, that's really cool. Oh, 
Well, I think I'll go into that one. Okay. So now I'll... That's only one it's normal summon. I think I'll do this one. Okay. Then I'll go ahead and activate this. Cool. Once per turn. So now, attack. 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 Dang, that's unfortunately not enough. And then I'll go ahead and go into Koi Koi Shogun. Okay. And then I'll special summon out. Could have probably won if I would have went into this right away, but oh well. I'll go ahead and special summon out the MDL. Okay. Hmm. What can I? No, I'm not going to. No. Oh, yeah. No. No special sum summon something else out. Now I'm getting in into pretty good territory. Oh, what? What? Oh, it's only when it's no summoned. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, well. I still won. Unless that's the one that destroys everything. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, I'll just turn that guy around, I guess. Wait, let's do this one first. What is that? Oh, okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that. And I won. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay, good game, man. That was a nice rematch. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the next Lona duel. I think it gets me an icon. I think that's an icon, not a main. Oh, so now I have infinite track Kurakuri, which, I mean, that's a pretty nice um, combination because they're both all machines. 
Okay, so if this cause don't summon, I can special summon one of my Earth Machine guys for my hand. Oh yeah, they're all Earth Machines. So yeah, it is actually pretty good. So I'll go ahead and... It has to be in defense. So I'll go ahead and special summon the one that doesn't really have... And then... Oh wow, and then I can make them both... Rank 8, I believe. Wait, what? Hold on. The levels of both that monster and this card become the combined original levels of those two monsters. Yeah, so it would be rank 8. But... But... He's not even giving me any rank 8s. What the heck? That's not cool. Well, whatever. I might as well activate it. Because I might be wrong. But yeah, the rank 8. I don't have any rank 8s. Whatever. I'll go with this one. Well... I can at least do this. You should give me a few rank gates. I don't I don't get it. Okay. Oh great. Ah, Barebu. Okay, I'm definitely gonna activate it now. Negate that. Okay, now I can change the battle position of that guy. Okay, cool. Wait. What does that say? Once per turn, if the battle position... Wait, hold on. Um... Defense position mo monsters you control in defense position cannot be stored about. Oh, come on, man. Okay, I'm gonna activate this. Does this guy even really do anything? Oh, wait. I shouldn't have done... Whatever, I'll just do it. I wasn't thinking. Add one out trigger extension. Okay. Let's banish that one. Your opponent cannot target machine XC monsters you control with card effects. Once per turn, you can target one infinite track XC monster you control. Special if from X deck one machine monster that's two rings higher by using that target as material also you cannot special okay that's fine so now I'll known summon this guy and then I'll add ah <sighs> oh, I shouldn't have banished that This is not good. I guess I can do that one, yeah. Add that one. Okay. And then I can... Ooh. Oh. 
Okay, so you can detach one material from this. Okay, so I can either go for that guy or... Man, it, it just sucks that... Okay, probably this one. Okay, I'll probably go with this one then. This one actually... Hold on. If I go with that one, I can just special summon out uh, another level 5. Yeah. Yeah, so I got definitely go for him first. Yeah, because then I can just special summon out another level 5. That's right. So yeah, I go for him first, and then I can special summon out another level 5. Hopefully I have another level 5. Okay, good idea. There we go, that works. And now I can still go for this one. There we go. Okay. And then what would I be able to do? So the the rank seven that I have is this guy, so you can detach one material from this card. It gains 1,000 attack. That's perfect. Okay. But what does this guy do first? So, this card is in your graveyard. You can tribute one machine link monster. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and activate the f this effect here. I'll yeah, I'll go ahead and detach that one. Oh, that's really cool, but I don't need to do that. Because I'm going to be able to destroy him anyway. So now. Okay. So what can I add? Anything that would be useful? Okay. Well. Contribute one earth machine monster. Spell summon this card for hand in. But I already did that. And I can only do that once. So. Okay. Oh, actually, yeah. Yeah, no, I should. But I don't know what spin turn is. Okay, I think I'm going to do this one, though. Yeah, no, I'll do this one. Yeah. Oh, I could just... Eh, it's fine. It's fine. And then I'll go ahead and... Target this to... Exceed summon out the... Or... I'm not sure if it would count as exceed or special summon. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and do this. To have this guy gain 1000 attack. Yeah, this is really good. And then what I can do is I can tribute this to special summon this one out. And then I'll go ahead and activate my link to target that and give it an extra material. And then I'll go ahead and banish a machine monster, so I'll banish this one. To add... Oh, I already had a spin turn. Oh, well. Spin turn is really good, so I don't mind that. What can I possibly... Oh! 
Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and change this guy's battle position. I'm glad he targeted that one. Whatever. Okay, so. So what happens when he. Oh. Okay, I think. I think now I'll go into Okay, now I can activate this. You can tribute one machine link monster special summon this car in defense position. Crap. No, I'm not going to. Okay, so now I can... Yes. Yes, I'll activate that. Now it's attached as Link... And then I'll attack with those with these two. And then now I'll go ahead and go into main phase two. I'll use this guy's effect. Okay. And then end. Okay, what does that do? That's fine. Okay, yeah, you're still fine. I'm gonna activate spin turn now. Yeah. Target this and target him, destroy the scrap. Okay, cool. And I think I won. There you go. Good. Wait, what? Oh yeah, that's fine. Does that count? Uh, I guess, no, it doesn't. Okay, but I'm just gonna, there. There. There we go, that's game. Good, I was able to get past that boss monster. Yeah. Honestly, if he would have targeted that seed, I might have been in trouble. But I think I still would have been able to do it. I don't know, it's hard to say. So yeah, I still can't tell if that's a maid or an icon. Okay, so this last one right here. Okay, so now it's ninjas plus plus Kurakuri, which might make a little less sense because it's dealing with warriors and machines, but eh, they can probably they kind of look similar too, and like it's probably because a few of them are called ninja. Do those count as ninjas? Except with the effect of it. But, like, you, I don't think you can really do anything with that. So, right here, what I'll do is I'll normal summon the ninja grandmaster, activate its effect. Oh, you know what? It might actually be work with the hidden village of ninjutsu. Huh. That's really cool.
Okay, so I think I'm gonna... Huh. I'll go ahead and add the ninjutsu art. This one. And then I'll go into battle. Attack. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to activate this. Okay, so now I can either special summon this or this. I don't have any ninjutsu odds cards. I think I'll do this one then. Cool. This has to end now. Okay, um, I might as well add another one of those because that is just a really good card. And then I'll go ahead and go into battle. What can I go into? Anything worthwhile? Ooh, that's actually not too bad. But no, I'm not going to. Okay. Yeah. I don't need to. Dang it. Wait, what happens if I... I don't think he can. And because it says, and if you do... So I'll just go ahead and disrupt that play, and I don't think you can special summon it. Yeah, he can't because he can't do it. Yeah. Well, that was an easy game. Yeah, I might as well just go into game into. I'll just finish him off now. Yeah, that was an easy game. There we go. Yeah, there you go. That's more like it. I wasn't even making use of the code codes. I was more just making use of the ninjas. <laughs> well, sorry, code codes. Oh, that's an icon. So I think it was a mate. Yeah, a mate. A new mate. That's kind of cool. So I got a new icon and a new mate. Okay, well. Um. I'll say the outro now for those um, who want to see the duels. Um, but if you like, please feel free to stick around for the pack opening. But anyway, um, for the rest of you, I'll be seeing you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to ring that notification bell for my regular uploads. I'm shooting for at least one a week. Because, like, I realize, like, it's kind of hard to do it every day. But, like, I think I can at least do it once a week. So, I'm I'm really shooting for that. Maybe eventually I can get into every single day. But that's kind of difficult. But once a week is a lot more manageable. Anyway, I'll see th those of you who wish to leave now. And for the rest of you, um, I'll do a pack opening right now. A leg... It's going to be another legacy pack opening. 
But first I'll um also um do the missions. Yeah. Ooh, so I got two here done. So now all I have left are these two ranked duels. So I'll just have to do them on my own time. And then I also got... I might have missed a login. I don't know though. Maybe, maybe not. It's hard to say. It doesn't really matter too much because I got my decks complete. Um... So yeah, I'll go into some a uh, pack opening now. I have ten more legacy packs. Okay, so I got a lot here, so this'll be nice. I still haven't gone that reckless greed. Kinda want to get the reckless greed. Just because it seems like a fun card. So, good. Starting off strong with an SR. Peking Goblin and Arcane Archer of Force. And as always, you can feel free to pause if you want to see these cards. Okay, so Rock Ogre Grotto number one and Psychic Snail. Ooh, Bad Aim is a pretty good card for Duel Links. Not really... I don't think it's really ever played, but like... It's a pretty good budget option because it's... Found within a structure deck in that game. So you can get, at least get one, maybe two copies of it. I forget how many it is. I think it's one. But yeah, it's pretty easy to get. But like, if you want to get multiple copies, you're going to have to shell out some actual money. But, and not very many good um, generic traps are available in structure decks. So that's like another thing about that. At least in Duel Links. Ooh, another SR. Hey, you know what? Um, the artwork on this guy is at least kind of cool. Yeah. His artwork is pretty cool, though. That's what I can say about him. Uh, two SRs, like, I don't... That doesn't usually happen. Oh, wow. Three SRs. Wow. And it's a foil. Too bad I can't dismantle it. Oh, well. It's a kind of cool artwork, too. And then Chain Dog. Isn't too bad. But I'm not going to be using it. Ooh. Mid Shield Gardener and Grass Chopper. <laughs> That's a funny pun. Okay, Lamoon and Goblin Black Ops. Ooh. Cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> And put four maple life, life swords, man. Intrigue shield and fire prison. Hmm. That's cool. That's a cool card, that Fire Prison. I think this could be a, a, a pretty good stall card. It's not very competitive, but it seems like a pretty fun stall card. If any Link monsters on the field need the play, can Link summon a Link monster with a lower Link ring than the highest Link ring on the field. So if you're able to bring out like a Link 4, then like neither player can summon can link summon like a link three or lower link monster which can be pretty tough for a lot of decks and mon and also monsters can attack except link monsters apply the following effects while two or more cybers link monsters on the field 
negate the activated effects of cybers monsters. Cyber monsters cannot attack, cannot be targeted for attacks, and cannot be targeted by call effects. So this could be a pretty nice stall card for like cyber stacks. Like it's not really used, but like it seems at least like a pretty fun one. Yeah. And looks like I got all new and I got three SRs and just ten packs. I think that's the first time I got that many SRs and one of them was a foil too. That was that's pretty cool. Anyway, that'll be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video for those of you who stuck around for the pack opening. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next part. Bye everyone.